Welcome back to my channel. Today we will continue to learn chapter 13, Gas Law and Kinetic Theory. So in this video, we will continue to discuss with 13.3, Molecular Kinetic Energy and Internal Energy. Okay, so here we, we have uh, three types of atomic. The first one is uh, monoatomic. Okay, and the second one is uh, diatomic, meaning that we have two atoms. And, and the third one is polyatomic, uh, meaning that we have more than two atoms. Okay, so we go to number one first. The degree of freedom for the monoatomic is uh, equals to 3 because it only can move in 3 ways okay, where we can move in X, Y and also Z okay, whereas for diatomic we have uh, 5 degree of freedom okay, because for the translational we have 3 X, Y, Z and also rotational okay, we have uh, 2 ways to rotate okay, so meaning that it can rotate in uh, X or it can rotate in Z component Okay, so total up, the degree of freedom is equal to 5. Okay, next one is the polyatomic. For translational, okay, we have, uh, we can move in three ways, X, Y, and Z. Okay, whereas for a rotational, okay, for rotational, we have three types of, or three ways to move. Uh, okay, you can rotate in X, you can rotate in Y, and you can rotate in Z. Okay, so the total degree of freedom for polyatomic is equal to 6. Okay, next we go to the, Translational kinetic energy. So if you look at this word translational, meaning that uh, it's linear. Okay, meaning that it only move in x, y, and z exit. Okay, move linearly. So the equation here is equal to three over two kt, three over two kt, three over two kt. Because for monoatomic, diatomic, and polyatomic, the degree of freedom for translational is three. Okay, so it's three over two kt. Okay, next we will go to the total. Okay, now we say total meaning that must include the a number of molecules that we have. Okay, so if I say we have an n molecule, meaning that our equation become 3 over 2 nKT or 3 over 2 nRT. Okay, it depends on uh, whether we have the, the number of molecule or we have a number of mole. Okay, so similar for diatomic and polyatomic, uh, it's 3 over 2 nKT or 3 over 2 nRT. Okay, okay next one. We will go to the average. So when we say average kinetic energy, meaning that okay, we include translational plus rotational. The degree of freedom for molecular atomic is 3 over 2 nKT or 3 over 2 nRT, whereas for that atomic is 5 over 2 nKT or 5 over 2 nRT. Okay, and for polyatomic, it will become 6 over 2 or we can write 3 NKT or 3 NRT. Okay, next one we will go to the internal energy. Okay, so internal energy equation, if you find that actually the equation actually similar with the uh, average kinetic energy. Huh? Okay, it's equal to 3 over 2 NRT or 3 over 2 NKT. Whereas for the atomic is 5 over 2 NKT or 5 over 2 NRT. And for polyatomic is 6 over 2, or we can write 3 nKT or 3 nRT. Okay, so our internal energy, as we mentioned just now uh, in the lecture, where internal energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. Okay, so for this chapter, the potential energy is equal to zero and because, because the potential energy is associated with the force between the particle. Okay, so since the uh, internal Molecular force of the particle okay, is uh, negligible, okay, meaning that our potential energy also equals to zero. Okay, so therefore our internal energy is equal to kinetic energy. Okay, so the equation if you find actually are similar. Okay, that's all for this video. Please click on the next video for exercise four. Bye.